What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I kind of want to talk about Battlefield uh, 6, some aiming tips that I've been using. I've been playing the, this game for about six hours now, and I think I got my settings dialed in, uh, how I like them, and um, some tips on how to uh, make the aiming feel way better. Um, because when you're first starting out, it just doesn't feel that good. So. The first thing that I did was uh, I went to my uh, mouse and keyboard. I play at 800 DPI, uh, and my uh, centimeters per 360 is 40. So if you guys are wondering and want to match it to uh, other games, uh, you could kind of look right here, and it tells you what DPI, uh, what your sensitivity in your 360 CM is going to be. So that's really, really nice. Awesome awesome setting uh another thing that i've done um go into the control settings here uh i have uniform soldier aiming on turn that on and i actually put my zoom sensitivity coefficient on zero i've been playing zero for years um and then zero still felt a little fast so i uh, lowered my um zoom aim sensitivity to 80 and uh just play around with this i've been fiddling around with it a little bit uh, and it feels really good. Uh, my field of view is 106 um, just because there's longer range of like, gunfights and sometimes it's really hard to see enemies. I used to play on 120, but on Battlefield, I only play at 106. I feel like that's a really good compromise to where I can see enough around me. And I'm to be honest, I'm staring at my mini-map half the time anyway. So uh, that's also uh, really, really nice. Um, so these, this is kind of what I use right here. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying in your graphics, uh, when I go to my uh, graphic settings, I do play with DLSS and I do have frame generation on. Um, I don't really feel the uh, the input delay. Uh, it feels the same with it off and with this and with this on. So I've just been rocking with it. My frames have been around 240. Uh, when this is off, like all this is off, I'm at like 90. So there's that. Uh, also, when you're first playing, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little tip here. Um, your gun. I've been rocking the assault class, and this gun feels terrible without two attachments. Um, so the first attachment you're really going to want is this vertical grip. This vertical grip is super, super good. It makes the game, like the gun, almost a laser. Next attachment I unlocked, which is going to get a little later, is the suppressor. Suppressor is also really, really nice. And I also use this extended uh, prototype barrel. Um, I also use this sight right here. Um, there's a couple of different sights that you can use. You're going to start out with this hollow sight. It feel, this hollow sight, I absolutely hate it. Just the circle is way too big. I don't like it. So I end up using uh, this sight which is really, really good. But I did start out with this site, um, which was really good. And I tried this one. It was kind of good, but it just zooms in a little too much. And like the, the visual recoil is a little crazy. So I stick with this site. Um, another thing is go into the firing range when you're trying to uh, see, uh, as you guys can see here, the bullet pattern. But when you're trying to see the recoil pattern, I just hold down my mouse and it kind of goes up and then it's just all over. So it goes up to the left a little bit. So I pull down or goes up to the right a little bit. So I pull down to the left and I try to keep it as tight as possible, um, especially at longer ranges. That's a pretty good group there. So when you're, when you're trying to get kills and it seems like uh, people are just beaming you, um, Go ahead and pull down to the left and just like, just know your gun recoil. That's pretty much it. Um, and the firing range is really good because you can kind of see like the distances that you can actually like burst somebody down um, and how many bullets it takes to burst somebody down, right? The thing about this setup, you don't want to always be pulling down. Um, at some point, the recoil kind of stops. Uh, so like you pull down and then when you see it bouncing, that means that you don't have to pull down anymore. When it's like, looks like it's going side to side. It's like a CS mechanic, I think, uh, if you ever came from CS. Uh, but 
basically in short bursts of like five bullets you can just absolutely just laser somebody with this gun so it's really fun so that's pretty much it i'm gonna leave you guys with some clips and everything um slowly getting my aim back it's feeling nice. It almost feels like I never left. The mouse input in this game is really good. I really like it. There's some netcode issues, but I'll have a Battlefield review coming out uh, in a couple of days after I get uh, more uh, time into the game. As always, guys, we're going to say bless, stay humble, and I'll catch you in another one. Peace. Release. It was before um, PUBG. PUBG. H1Z1 originally released.